Bread has a significance beyond mere nutrition in many cultures in the Western world and Greater Middle East because of its history and contemporary importance as well as significant religious symbolisms. Bread can also be adapted to put a different take on dishes and in this video I'll be showing you how to make beetroot bread which not only is vegan but will complement a dish that would otherwise be served with traditional bread. For your beetroot bread you will need 500 grams of strong bread flour, 40 grams of olive oil, 20 grams of salt, 35 grams of caster sugar, 35 grams of fresh yeast and 250 milliliters of beetroot juice. You can substitute the fresh yeast for dried, I will leave a conversion in the description box down below. The first stage in our bread is to heat the beetroot juice to 35 degrees celsius, I've done this using a microwave and then add our yeast and mix well until it's all combined and then add the remaining ingredients to your bowl and then place on the mixer on a slow setting for 5 minutes to allow the ingredients to mix and also allow the glutens in the bread to start building up. After 5 minutes slowly start adding your beetroot yeast mixture. Add it slowly from the side, a bit at a time and just let it slowly start incorporating into the mixture. At this stage add roughly two thirds and then allow the mixture on the slowest speed setting to continue mixing for about 10 minutes. This allows all the ingredients to incorporate and also helps to build up the gluten which is what will give the bread the lovely springy texture when we bake it later on. For this recipe I am using a stand mixer, there is a video on that on the channel, but if you do not have a stand mixer check out the other video on the channel where I make bread by hand where this recipe will also be fine and just follow the steps from that video. As you can see on the screen here so far we've only added two thirds of our beetroot juice mixture, if you need to you may need to add some more in to get the required consistency. Once you have leave your mixer on the lowest setting and knead for a further 10 minutes. Once 10 minutes have elapsed the bread should be nice and worked up, you should have a nice gluten base in there now to help form the springiness when we bake the dough. If you can see like I have here the bread mixture has actually become too wet, this more than likely is due to the ambient temperature in the kitchen and the humidity, but should this be the case it's easily remedied by adding in some more flour just a little bit at a time until you bring it back into bread consistency. Once your desired bread consistency has been reached you should be able to turn the mixer off and you should be able to just lightly touch the surface and your fingers should come away freely without the dough sticking. At this point we want to take it off, leave it to one side and allow it to prove up to double in size and at this stage we also want to preheat our oven to 160 degrees celsius. The bread proven here on screen is on a time lapse but it should take approximately 20 minutes for it to double in size. Once it has doubled in size place the mixture back on your mixer on speed setting 1 and then knead for a further 5 minutes. If you are enjoying the video so far why not give it a like and leave a comment down below and to never miss a future upload why not subscribe. There's also other ways you can support the channel, there's also buy me a coffee, the link is in the description down below. For the next stage I have donned a pair of gloves as the dough after mixing is still slightly wetter than I would have liked, however at this stage I'm reluctant to add any more flour as this could affect the end result by making it too dry and affecting how much the bread actually rises. Next stage is to separate the dough into your individual portions, as you can see here I'm making some into miniature loaves and then with the remaining dough I'm using a cutter to make them into nice round shapes to rise up in order to make a nice beetroot bun as later on in the channel I'll be making a nice vegan beetroot burger, this bun would go fantastic with it. To see that don't forget to like, share and subscribe to never miss that or any future uploads. Once you're happy with your desired shape for your bread just double check it all again to make sure it is going to rise properly, you might need to just tease the dough inside the bread tins themselves just to make sure it will rise properly and then after that leave the bread to one side in a nice warm kitchen to prove until it's doubled in size. Again I've used a time lapse here but it will take roughly about 20 to 30 minutes for the dough to double in size. While the bread is proving it is essential to just let it prove naturally at whatever ambient temperature and humidity your kitchen is at. Don't do anything to try and force the bread to rise as this may result in a bad batch and could end up with something such as a dough that could collapse or a dough that could end up very tough when you bake it. Once your dough has doubled in size spray it with something such as a coconut oil and then coat in onion seeds or a seed of your choice and then bake at 160 degrees for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. If like me and you're absolutely obsessed with baking bread you can also video the bread as it's rising in the oven although this stage is entirely optional. 
Once your beetroot bread has been baked, it will be slightly darker on top from the baking process. At this stage, remove from the oven. Check that the bread is fully cooked by tapping on the bottom of the bread and you should hear a nice hollow sound. At this stage, transfer to your cooling rack and after about five minutes, remove the bread from the tin. And then after that, your bread is ready to use on whatever application you like. I'll be using this beetroot bread in some of my future videos for some of my upcoming vegetarian and vegan dishes. Do not miss those, why not hit subscribe right now and turn on the notification bell. And while you're here, why not check out one of the videos on screen now and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.